right guys we're back for another dokkan battle video so i want to do a video taking the easy a sin shenron um here into the gt legendary goku event now easy a sin shenron doesn't really look that impressive for the most part but he does boast a very high defensive stat which does make him a legitimate option i think in a lot of this difficult content so let's go ahead and jump in and let's see how he does in the newest sort of difficult events for both Global and JP Dokkan, right? We can, you know, sort of see if this boy is able to hold his own or if he sucks ass or, you know, what we'll be able to see here. Um, okay, this is an interesting... <laughs> this is... <laughs> what an interesting opening rotation we got here. Very good. <laughs> Triple Super 17. Now, Super 17, you know, uh, is really good both the lr and the easy atur um when it comes down to like the gt bosses team um running both is definitely something we want to do the only issue right is that here's where super 17 does run into oh he dodged that nice three dodge um here's where super 17 does run into a bit of a problem um and that's that he does not have big bad bosses um they wanted to make super 17 the leader of the gt bosses team but he's a character that does not have big bad bosses. So that just hurts, right? Like, I understand why the easy ATUR doesn't have one, whatever. Maybe they thought, oh, it'll be too OP or blah, 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 blah. But that's not really a good enough excuse. The LR should have it. All right, so what is Sin rocking here? 225k defense. So I have given him some really prime equips. Um, defense is basically what he's uh, designed here for. So I gave him the level 5 defense. I gave him the level 3 silver defense. So he's getting an extra 1,100 defense from equips. And then also the extra additional um, right there. So he's got 11 additional. So he's at 14,500 defense. Obviously very, very high. Um, with 225k defense, like this guy is going to be taking like double digit damage the entire way through the event. I think even the great ape Goku is barely going to be hurting Sin. The super attack will cut Sin's ass up. But besides that, also I, I do want to point out Sin having basically, he's got a 50% chance to crit from his passive essentially um, because we're on a full GT bosses team. That could work out fairly well, right? Like nearly a 50% chance to crit for a unit like that is definitely going to help us out quite a bit. Um, I'm not really too sure what I'm going to do in terms of rotations either. I guess I'm sort of gonna have I'm I'm gonna have AGL 17 just sort of float around like a vagabond or something. I guess I mean I might as well, right? Um, the good news is that LR Super 17 in long events is actually quite powerful, um, especially as he builds up that full key mechanic for himself. Um, you know he'll be able to do a lot of damage, and he's very frequently gonna be um, very very high in terms of his. Uh, like, like, like we're, we're going to see him easily get, like, 18 key super attacks once that key passive of his has built up. It's just, again, it, it takes, you know, quite a long time because for some reason, which no one can figure out because it's just moronic, they decided to give it a 50% chance when he gets hit, right? All right, so, again, 225k defense is what we're going to be rocking. But, again, keep in mind, he gets an extra 30% on top of that. So, after he supers... I mean, this guy is going to be untouchable, right? Now, right now, you know, because he's sort of the primary focus of the team, like, I'm sort of, like, running him, like, on main rotation and stuff like that. But, like, this guy's destiny is to be, like, a floater-type unit, you know, like, running with a bunch of other Shadow Dragons, and he's just, like, really tanky at the end, right? Because, again, 300k defense um, is not anything to sort of be like, oh, wow, like, he sucks. Like, no, that's really good. 300k defense is definitely very solid. Okay, so we'll have a baby. What is baby's defense right here? Oh, he's at, wow, baby's at 200k. Uh, Link level 10 baby with Rildo and LR Super 17 around. This looks like this is going to be a good rotation for baby. Um, I actually, I think I am going to do a level 10 Link video for baby very soon, by the way. I really should during this sort of like GT bosses thing. Like I should make sure to go ahead um, and give him one during this GT bosses thing, right? uh okay <laughs> all right uh so sure let's go ahead and see what we get right here uh and baby gets us a pretty solid attack set right there okay i like it i like it not bad by baby um and then he's tanking double digits from goku as well very good very good yeah lr baby is good um 
a lot of these GT bosses units, I mean, they all have this universal link, which is GT, right? Which is going to be very, very good um, in terms of defense and stuff. Um, yeah, pretty much just, just like the same like rotation every single turn. Same defensive number. Uh, it's going to go, like, once we have Rildo on rotation giving that GT boss support, that's going to be good. I really do wish Rildo, by the way, um, gave GT bosses category allies. Ah, that's a lot he took right there on a super. I mean, yeah, see, Sin, <laughs> he's good uh, when it comes down to it defensively if he's not going to take super attacks. All right, we're, we're in a bit of a bind here. I'm, I think I'm actually going to have to use an item. Oh, no, maybe. Okay, okay. I thought Super 17's defense was lowered, but it, it looks like it, it was not. So we're good. Um, Sure, okay. We'll, we'll go ahead and see what happens right here. Now, Sin's defense is... Wow, do you want to chill? This could be bad. Actually, we could be in trouble. Ooh. Oh, I think we're done. Wow, okay. <laughs> I guess I'll come back right here. Goku. Yeah, I guess... See the GT bosses team. These main character, like these main units right here, we're sort of relying upon them uh, to function with their raw defense, right? Like Super Seventeen raw defense, Sin Shenron raw defense. But like this Goku lowers defense, which sort of neutralizes that a little bit. Okay, well, a little bit embarrassing. Let's jump back in a Super Saiyan three, I guess. <laughs> All right, so we are back on the Super Saiyan three phase. Which here's the issue with this turn, yeah. Uh, Sin got super attacked earlier, so now it kind of leads us to him having lower than we should defense. Again, that that's a major issue, um, and that's that's a good way to sort of do difficulty for Dokkan, right? Like, we probably will see a lot more of that moving forward. Like, difficult events in Dokkan could become a lot more difficult just based on if the enemy lowers your defense or super attacks, because, again, it lasts for three turns, right? We get sniped with one of these, bam! That's a three-turn debuff. So now Omega is going to be a sitting duck against Great Ape Goku, right? That always can be a very, very problematic, um, like, turn of events right there. So we are going to have to be very, very ultra careful here um, <laughs> against Great Ape Goku. I mean, we're probably going to die again against Great Ape Goku. Um, yeah, Baby taking this much damage. See, GT boss is just not all the way there yet. Like, the Super 17s will work fine, right? Of course, but, uh, you know, not a lot of other units are. I don't want to use any um, of their active skills or anything like that yet, either. Um, with this active skill, we should be able to finish off Goku, provided he doesn't super attack right away. Well, that would be annoying if we, <laughs> we died again on him. It's like, well, all right, we'll come back. Uh, okay, so next... Uh, in this next rotation... Oh, that was really bad. Um, on this next rotation... Sin's defense is not going to be lowered anymore. Um, so we will be able to see him fully tank um, against Great Ape Goku. But here's the thing. Great Ape Goku, even with Sin, you know, having 300k defense, Great Ape Goku is going to, like, nearly one-shot us if he super attacks. So that's going to be really bad. The good news is that Super 17 did, what, like a 4 million crit on the Dokkan attack. So we should be healed back up to full, which is really good. Um, pretty much. Alrighty, this is probably death. Uh, <laughs> I, if, so we're at 261k defense. That's good. Like, that's really good. And after he supers, he's going to be well over 300k. Um, we'll see how this goes. Remember, with Omega, we do have all links active. Uh, we'll see. I do not know how this is going to go. <laughs> Come on, Sin. What? He took 43? Wow. Dude, this Great Ape Goku is so strong. Okay. Uh, so if Goku supers right here, which he didn't, that's good. Oh, he was taking... Okay, so he took double digits after he supered. Yeah, that's why I have 30... So, again, running this Sin as a floater, um, like a floater on the GT bosses team or something like that would be good, right? Because as a floater, to be able to take double digit damage from this Great Ape Goku is definitely very impressive. All right, we got a pretty good rotation right here. We could just do... Yeah, I could just do this for now. This this would work out fairly well. Um, we'll do that. Uh, we'll do... Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pop Super 17's active skill. Um, getting through this fight as quickly as possible is always a really good idea. This is Great Ape Goku, right? 
because the in Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he is just far less of a problem uh, than this Great Ape Goku. So we just go ahead and smack him with that, and then we will be much better off going through here. We could potentially finish off uh, Goku right here. Um, all right, so we're going to eat a super attack on super that Super 17. That's honestly probably exactly who we wanted to get super attacked. Um, again, I I've said it a lot recently, but AGL Super 17 is still really good. Like, he, didn't, he, he is not, like, now, like, trash because the LR exists or anything like that. Because, um, remember, he dramatically helps the LR by being on the same rotation, even though they don't, they don't link together. Because he is still an Android and Target Goku category ally, which is buffing LR Super 17. I can't believe Baby took that much damage from this guy. Wow, okay. Did Baby get super attacked before? He wasn't defensive debuffed, was he? I don't know. All right, we, we got made it through Great Ape Goku. All right. So let's do a tur one turn against this Goku right here. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut uh, up to ultra full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, now the good news is, again, Sin with that very high defense, I could just do that right there. And then, boop, we're back up to full health, which is always very nice. Um, that's one, you know, one of the great... So, like, another ability we could give Sin that would really help him is if you gave him the little Goku head symbol... Um, so he gets more health, uh, per, like, you know, orb. That's always very, very good. So if Super Saiyan, if Super Saiyan 4 Goku is going to do, like, 40k, 50k right here, let's see. 50k? That's a bit more. I mean, after Sin Supered, it would have been, like, it would have been, like, 30k damage. It would have been, like, nothing. Um, Sin does crit an awful lot. Look how, like, on this GT boss's team, he does crit. I mean, he, he's definitely better in this event than, like, STR Omega Shenron is. Because SCR Omega, that attack debuff is not working. He's only taking 28k, though. That's not... I thought he was going to take way worse. So, all right. Let's uh, go ahead and cut to Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku now. All right, guys. So, we made it to Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Actually, a little bit uh, harder than I would like. Uh, the GT Bosses team, again, it's not really ready for something like this. Uh, team is just not really that good for a long, difficult event like this. Um... So the problem, right, is that I don't have Omega and Sin on a rotation, and I don't even think I could survive until that, the two turns. Um, we're just going to put Sin in slot one right here, and we are going to meet our demise. It's like Sin can be fine, um, but it's just he's just in a pretty bad situation right here, right? Like... GT bosses, Inhuman Deeds, Shadow Dragon Saga are not like fully fleshed out teams. And then Sin also does sort of need to be on the, um, he needs to be on the GT bosses team to really maximize like his defense and his crit chance too. So it just gets very, very difficult to sort of uh, find a way to use Sin Shenron right now. Like I wanted to bring him in here and show that like he himself could be okay, but like the team around him is definitely going to go ahead and let him down, right? Um, LR-17 really could have been a bit better. Uh, a lot of these units could be a bit better. Oh, wow, we're actually going to get the baby transformation. Um, but all right, let me know what you guys think, um, of the GT bosses team and of our boy, uh, Easy uh, Sin, uh, Shenron in this event. Like, he's, he's good. Like, he, he's okay, right? Like, I don't, he's not horrible. He doesn't suck. He's not fodder. But he's also not like, oh, you know, one of the better EZAs or anything like that. But, like, uh, he's going to be a fine, like, seventh unit or sixth unit to run um, on, like, some of these teams, right? Like, he's kind of, like, going to be one of the last options that you use. But you can sort of get away with him. So, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time.